In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create DocAssemble packages. In other words, how to make your interview files public so that people can access them and use them and create documents using just a URL. We're going to start with our very simple YAML file. It's called Thank You Note. It's an interview that generates a very basic thank you note uh, to send to whoever you want to send it to. You'll notice up at the top that I've included a block up here that's metadata. This sets a title and short title for our interview. This will be important later on. It's good practice to include these in your interviews if you want to make them into packages and public facing because it sets the title of the interview which will show up later in the video and it makes things easy when you want to find this interview. So we have our YAML file ready to go. I've tested it and it works. It calls our template called thank you note as a Word document template and creates the thank you note from that. So now that we have our YAML file saved, we're going to go over to packages. And to get to packages, you go up here to folders and click down on packages. I have it open in this tab, so let's just go there. I've clicked the button to add a package, which you need to do. Click add a package and then set a package name. We're going to call it thank you note because that's what it is. You want to remember that in the package name you can't use spaces, you can't use um, dashes, characters like that. That will cause an error. It's good practice just to use straight words, no spaces. Uh, you can capitalize the first letters of the words if you want. Our version is .01. It's the first thank you note that we have and our license is the MIT license. You can set these to whatever you want but we'll leave them as is. So let's go down to dependencies. We're not going to worry about dependencies for the purposes of this tutorial. Dependencies are Python packages that you need to include to do complex operations. We're not going to worry about that for this. Interview files, we're going to want to select our thank you note interview file, which is down here. Make sure you select it all the way. And then find our template file because it will need that to generate the final thank you note. So let's select that. Static files is where you would include any sort of images, uh, things like that, that you want your interview to display. Source files, anything that you have as a source file can go in there. Modules, if you have written your own Python module, it will show up here if you need to use it. And then you can add in a readme file if you'd like. This is very handy for deploying your package over to GitHub so that other people can load it in their DocAssemble assemble instances. We're not going to worry about that for the purposes of this tutorial. Let's go ahead and click Save. And now that it's saved, we're going to scroll all the way back down and we'll have a new button that's Install. So let's click Install and this will take a few moments to load everything. Okay, it looks like our package is updated and didn't throw an error, which is great. You'll see this screen. You get a green alert up here if everything was okay. So let's go ahead and click Return. Okay, and that took us right back to our package window. So now our thank you note interview is available at its own URL. And we'll talk about what the structure of that URL is. You'll see I've written down how the URLs work here in this uh, little screen. They always start with um, your root directory. In my case, because I'm running this locally, it'll be localhost. And then interview question mark I equals docassemble, then a dot, and then the name of your package, a colon, data forward slash questions forward slash the name of your YAML file, YAML. And I've broken it out here with spaces just so it's easier to see the different components. Obviously you're not going to write the URL with spaces. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and see if our package URL is working. So I'm just going to copy this for expediency's sake and open an incognito tab to see if everything is working the way it should be. So let's type in localhost and a forward slash and then paste what we have in there and obviously that's not going to result in loading an interview just because it's a placeholder. 
So for package name, let's put in the name of our package, which was thank you note. And for the YAML file name, let's put in the name of our YAML file, which was also thank you note. And hit go and see if it works. And it worked. So here is our thank you note interview. It's working up at this big complicated URL. So now our interview is public facing. You could send this interview to whoever you wanted to and they could begin creating thank you notes using your DocAssemble instance. But DocAssemble has a great feature that makes life easy for creating URLs for these interviews and it's called Dispatch. So now that we've made our package public, we've saved everything, everything works, we can go over to our configuration file. To get there, you're gonna click on your username up here at the top right hand corner and go down to configuration. I've got it open here in this tab and I've scrolled all the way down to the bottom of the file and you can see that the configuration file contains all kinds of things that DocAssemble uses as system-wide information. Things like uh, connections to uh, Google Drive, Amazon S3 or AWS, um, things like that. So this is where we're going to be putting in dispatch. So to do it, we just go down to the bottom and we type in dispatch and then a colon and we're going to put in the name that we want our URL to have so let's say it's thank you and then a colon and then the URL for the interview now for this we don't need this right here we don't need interview question mark I equals we just need this part so let's put in thank you here thank you note and then instead of YAML name We'll put in thank you note again. And we'll go ahead and see if that looks right. And we'll hit save. And this will take a minute as well. Okay, it looks like everything saved. There weren't any weird errors that happened. So let's go ahead and see how dispatch works. Dispatch has two nice features, one of which is the list feature. So let's go to localhost forward slash list and now we can see a list of our available interviews that we've listed under dispatch and so here we see thank you note and you'll remember that in our interview we specified the title for the interview up here in our metadata that's where this is pulling from so anything that you'd put here you could put my super awesome interview it would show up as my super awesome interview here and you can click on it and get to your interview that way and you'll see it also sets the title up here as thank you note and the title in the tab as thank you note so it's a super handy feature the next super handy feature that dispatch has is it lets the URL be whatever you wanted it to be you'll remember that in the dispatch feature in the config file we just called it thank you so now we can go to this URL and it begins with start and then whatever you called it in dispatch so localhost slash start slash thank you and it takes us right back to our interview those are the two great features of dispatch you want to use those because the standard URLs that DocAssemble creates are very complicated and it's hard to tell somebody to type in question mark I equals DocAssemble yada 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 it's much easier to say hey just type in forward slash start forward slash thank you so that is how to create public facing interviews using packages in DocAssemble I hope you enjoyed the video